Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Some people in Macon neighborhoods are on edge after a series of gun incidents involving teenagers. TJ Anthony went to one of those neighborhoods today and talked to a woman who says her whole family lives in fear. Laura, it's pretty common for teenagers to gather in the Shadow Lawn Drive neighborhood, but not teenagers with assault weapons. That's been an issue there dating all the way back to July 8th, and they made their way into other places around there. Now, I talked to one woman who says she's afraid her family could get caught in the crossfire. At 5.52 in the morning, like two days ago, she said she heard shooting. Me, my niece, my daughter, we were all asleep, and it kind of startled them. My sister got down on the ground. I was like, no, maybe it was just like fireworks or something like that. Nope. Jada Clay, who lives on Ayers Road, heard gunshots. Wednesday morning before 6, Bibb County deputies responded to the area. People reported teenagers standing in the road trying to stop drivers. According to the sheriff's office, one driver says when their car stopped, teens came out of the woods with guns. Oh, so it was a shooting. It kind of made me nervous because I just moved out here. This all began July 8th around 10 a.m. when patrol deputies responded to shots fired on the 4500 block of Shadow Lawn Drive. They say four teen boys opened fire on someone and then left. Keep your kids away from them weapons because that's not fair to everybody else. Deputies then learned the teens were by the 4600 block of Lakewood Avenue. They confirmed that by shell casings on the ground. We're not trying to be caught in the crossfire. Deputies arrested 17 year old Jeremiah McQuarrie, along with three 15 year old males and a 14 year old male. The sheriff's office says deputies also recovered three handguns, an AR-15 rifle, drugs, scales, fake bills, and ammunition connected to the July 8th shooting. That kind of make me nervous. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they are still investigating and there may be some more charges, but Clay wants to see some changes. Police need to be out here more. You heard the gunshots. Why weren't no police coming out there immediately when you heard them? We asked the sheriff's office how the teens may have gotten an assault rifle, and they said they're still investigating. In Macon, TJ Anthony, 13 WMAZ News. And if you know anything else about these incidents, the Bibb Sheriff's Office wants you to call Macon Regional Crime Stoppers. That number is one 877 Six eight crime. Lori, back to you. Thank you, TJ. The five teenage suspects are charged with multiple charges, including possession of a handgun by a minor, possession of drug-related objects, and more. And more charges are pending.